Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tomasz and today we will go through few simple hopping exercises in quick step. Enjoy! As you know, quick step consists of few different kinds of actions. So we have swing actions, right, and swing figures. We have scatter chasses, we have runs, and we also have hops, right? Now, today we will cover the hops, which are basically jumping in spot. Today we will cover the hopping, which is basically jumping in spot on one or two legs. The first exercise for hopping will be just trying to jump on two legs in a slow or quick tempo. When we hop to the slow tempo, so every hop will take a slow, so slow, 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 we have to really use our knees and ankles in order not to change the postural line at all. So our posture wants to be always vertical on the floor. We don't want to pitch it forward. We definitely do not want to pitch it backward as that will be very difficult for us to stay on the ball of the foot. And what we want to do is we want to keep our heels from ever touching the floor. So the heels are off the floor all the time. You can have feet together or you can have them slightly apart. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of the exercise. It's just to strengthen our ankles and make sure that we can hop efficiently on two legs. So let's do a few of those just to, so you see what I'm talking about. And slow, 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 slow. And now we'll do it sideways. And slow, 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 slow. Because in a slow hopping, we have a lot of time, somehow we have to kill that time, which means that we really have to involve our knees into the absorption of our weight. The process of jumping up always takes the same amount of time because we cannot control how long we're staying in the air. But what we can control is we can control the lowering and the absorption, right? So that will be always the same, but how long we are spending to absorb can vary and that's exactly how we will control the tempo of the music. At this moment it's very important to mention that when we bend the knees they fall over the second toe of the foot. Of course we've done already the video about the knee exercises and it will be in the description below. Now let's go to the quick hops, so in the quick timing. Now because we don't have so much time and we don't need to kill so much time by absorbing with the knees, in the quick hops, actually the knees will not work as much. We will use mostly feet and ankles to absorb and not so much knees because we don't have that much time. So again, just to show it, it's quick, 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 quick. And if I do it sideways and quick, 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 quick. Now the feet can lift off the floor slightly, depending how fast you're doing it and we definitely don't want to put the heels down on the floor. That will make us look very heavy and probably will change our alignment of the posture. I will do it one sideways just to show it. And quick, 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 quick. There is a slight chance that when I was doing it, the whole camera was shaking, which, will, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So try to keep your heels off the floor. And remember, the judge has to see that the heels are off the floor which means that having it this much off the floor might not be enough. So try to always keep some safe distance, so not only is mechanically correct, but also visual that you can score some points with. Now, let's blend it together in one exercise that you can repeat. Now, we will be mixing slow hops with quick hops in different amounts just to practice different variations. So what we want to do is do eight slows, eight quicks, four slows, four quicks, two slows, two quicks, two slows, two quicks. That rounds up to very nice phrase with the music, so it's very easy to remember and to know when to start over. So now let's just do it. I will do it first facing the camera and then sideways. Let's start. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And of course, after this one, 
you do it again. Now let's do it sideways. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This exercise might look very easy, but trust me, once you do it, especially a little longer, you will feel that it is not that easy. Now, again, few important points. Keep your heels up, keep your posture all the time straight, and try to keep it as smooth and soft as possible. So there should be no breaking between the jumps. It should be a constant movement up and down. Now, as a second exercise, we will do pretty much similar thing, but on one leg. So it will be even tougher. Now, if you don't feel comfortable yet jumping on one leg, do it first on two legs only. There's no point of getting an injury just because you want to try a new thing. So make sure that when you do it, your knee is still not in pain, your ankle is not in pain, and you can do it confidently on your own. The rules will be the same. Our heels will be up, not touching the floor. On the slow hops, our knee will be absorbing, and on the fast hops, our foot and ankle will be absorbing. Just to show you a few ones in spot before we get to the full exercise, we will be going slow, 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 quick, 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 quick. Just to show you how it looks, we'll go on one leg and one, two, three, four. So that was four slows and now quicks. Quick, 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 where I use mostly just the foot and ankle. So now just a number that you can put on it. You can put four slows on one leg, four slows on the other leg, four quicks on one leg, four quicks on the other leg, then two slows on one leg, two slows on the other, two quicks and two quicks. Of course, you can mix it up in the random numbers if you want to, but that one really fits with the phrasing of the quick step. So again, when the new phrase comes, you will pretty much start the exercise again, which is nicely to go like that, which is a nice way to do it. We would not recommend eight times on doing slows on one leg because that might put too much constant pressure on your knee. And it's very unlikely that in actual quick step routine, you will have eight slow jumps on one leg. Usually we do around two, maybe four when there's a mix of slows and quicks and we change the legs, but very rarely we do eight on one leg like that. It's very important to do those exercises regularly if you want your hopping in quick step to improve. If you do it once a month, well, that's not gonna change much to be honest. But if you do it regularly a few times a week, you will see the improvement of your quick step. And most importantly, you will see that the quick step is much easier for you. So once you have this fitness, you might actually enjoy the quick step much more. And fitness in dancing, it's not the most important thing, but it is important to have it in order to show what you actually can do. Because if you cannot show the figure like you practiced on the practice, because you're tired, then you have to improve your stamina more than your technique. If you can show it, but it's not that good, <laughs> then you have to improve the technique over the stamina. That's as simple as it goes. And the last thing I will say is that if you cannot do simple hops on one leg, but you have them in your routine, well, there are pretty much two choices at the moment. Either don't have them in your routine or practice those exercises in order to improve and make it possible for you to do in routine. It's very easy to pick hops that physically are too difficult for somebody and then try to do them and get annoyed and frustrated because they don't work, but not improve them and not exercise them enough. And it of course concerns individually you and your partner. So even though you might feel very comfortable in it, maybe your partner really struggles. So you have to have a discussion of what is possible for both of you and then do it together. So the couple looks good in the whole dance. That's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you have any comments, as always, put them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.